Um, so some of the things were obvious, I guess. And if you're going to do the behind the nut thing, it helps to have a telly, like a Les Paul only does a half step. Like a Les Paul, you can probably go... Like that's a useful lick actually. It's one of the first ones I figured out when I was doing the behind the nut stuff. That's, you know, you know, the bending there. Um, but on the, you know, on the telly, you can really.
Yeah. This is the word. It's very um, it's the word, um, asymmetrical. Thanks. I, mean, I didn't know that word. I just that word. I'm learning more at the clinic than you guys. Asymmetrical. But um, my thumb has made it very asymmetrical, and it, it's so I could play uh, stuff with my thumb a lot easier. Like I have a big hand this way, so it's easy for me to, you know, I can almost cover the thing with my thumb. So this makes it easier. And I broke my thumb, and uh, uh, right. they, they said it wrong. <laughs> this is a long time ago. Nothing wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I, I got bro bro both my thumbs were broken. <laughs> Not for sure. Like they said, off. But uh, they said them both wrong. You know, this is back, uh, I don't know if you guys have, we have Kaiser out here, Kaiser Yeah, yeah, it was, back, it was back in the early days of Kaiser, and then you go and there's like this lot you know, it was Kaiser, and uh, we, we, we Camp Longo signed up, I forgot why, but as a kid, they said it wrong, and so, but it helped my guitar player, eventually, but uh, I hope that answered the question, <laughs> so, One thing I wanted to talk about was, and because I did it and I thought it was this thing, which is kind of a neat technique. You know, the you know, right Now, one thing, boy, I was in middle position. Exercises 
sound pretty good. And, and I went through all these exercises that developed my right hand so nice, nice, nice.
intuitive understanding, like West Montgomery or something like that. I love their music. Um, but for me, sometimes I always want to try and play it my way. Or, and I like this because it sounds more like gospel music. Some of the times when I played even jazz standards, I did a Crimea River. Crimea River. Is, there's a Barney Kessel version as well. Yes, yeah, this is a top loader. And, and are there any tricks that you get 
can't that way or that way. I can't play it. No, I can't. Uh, uh, no, uh, the, the trick is, I guess, is it feels a little more rubbery, and this is a little easier, even though I'm not a very strong person and a lot of people could beat me up, but my left hand is tough. Like these things, I mean, sometimes guys go like, oh, you got nines, and I'm like, yeah, sure, you try it, <laughs> you know, and uh, it's, it takes a little bit of practice, but it's easier on this, but it's not easy. Um, I would say, like, that, like I say, I'm real badass this way. But just start with a half step in, and always you see that big crease in my finger? Like, it, it literally used to bleed, and then I'd have to take like a month off and go back and all that kind of thing. But I really like the sound, you know. It's almost like, it just sounds better than going. But it makes it easier, and I like it because you can write on it. <laughs> you know, it's just uh, you know that, that I, I. And the funny thing is, and I guess I'm kind of proud of this in a way. But when I got this guitar, I just loved it so much. You know? I still do. I just to this day, I'm sure we all feel the same way because we're all here meeting, and, you know, for this common purpose. And uh, I'm sure you guys stare at the headstock see how beautiful it is every day and I do too. I mean it's like the atomic Coca-Cola logo because I kind of like that too you know like, I like the Coca-Cola logo but a Telecaster is just that times 20. Um, so anyway I fell in love with the guitar but I didn't know that it was a top one and I had it for about six months I mean I knew I was putting my strings in this thing when I the string but so I go wow that's a top one like, yeah and I kind of pretended when I knew what he was talking about. And he goes, yeah, usually they go through the back. Then I found out it was a dog. You know, the, I kind of read like, yeah, it's a top loader, you know, <laughs> too bad. And, uh, but I was like, well, I really like it, but I didn't really know about the sound differences. And there is a sound difference. Um, this one is a, a little mellow, you know, um, but I like that. Because one thing I don't like about the string screws is if you do something like, Every now and then it's like one will go like, you know, and like really ping out. But this is a little more compressed to me. And I like that too. But you don't really get that, you know, Danny Gatton or Roddy Cannon like, you know, uh, sometimes. And, which is cool. But I I saw Roy many times and I was like, I you know, at the time Roy's career wasn't doing so great. So there was kind of nobody at the shows, which was great for me because I was, you know, it was like private concert. But I remember thinking, how, I mean, I could tell he could see me and I'd be like, well, how could I plug my ears without insulting him? Because, man, his sound, it was very punishing, you know, and, and I don't, I mean, it was searing. He, he was on 10 through a Fender Twin and that thing was like right in my head. And I know this would do, this would do, you know, this would do that, this would hurt somebody too. It might be hurting you when you're being white, but it doesn't have that really shrug. And I'll we'll play kind of a little song and then talk about it. Okay? So I feel like I'm worried about it. Yeah, I probably could. I mean, I didn't. Thanks for asking. You know, I kind of forgot that, but I'll try it. I'm a fool for requests, you know. If you ask for something, I'll try it. Because it's your fault. It's a, yeah, I'll try it. I really haven't played that in a long time. The story, thanks for asking though. I appreciate you having the record. Um, the guy who produced it asked me to play solo on it, and I said, no, I don't really play it solo that well. You know, Lenny Brown or Chet Atkins, or perhaps some of you sitting here right now. <laughs> Um, but he goes, no, you should really do it. And you were saying, and, you know, I really appreciate it. Anton Thierry he really was supportive. But um, I'll give it a try. You know, I was going to play this little chat.
other thing, um, I don't know if this will help you guys with the cars, but uh, any questions? Before I go to this next fantastic concept. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I use open strings a lot whenever I can. And uh, one thing that's kind of cool, and this is actually on my website. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm trying to But it's in the lessons. Um, but anyway, you just do it. And then just use any uh, any time you can.
seeing age. Right. In the context of G7, C is G7, and that's mode of playing, and, uh, which I don't really ever think of because it always removes me from the total center. So I just think of the chords and triads when I solo. But, you know, I usually don't think about modes because I remember when I was first, you know, some, I took some jazz lessons from a guy who was just out of high school. And I remember the guy who was trying to teach me modes and I, I was trying to learn to play over something. Like, you know, it's like, well, on this one, uh, you know, it's even minor. Thank mm -hmm. you. 